the first thing that a company needs to think about if they want to protect themselves from a cyber attack uh, obviously is going to be security, security of the company's network. And one of the important messages I think to companies in America today is they have to think about the complete range of, of, of options that they have to make sure that their network is protected. My name is Christopher Garcia. I'm a partner with Wild Gotchel and Mangies, and I work in the Securities Litigation Group. A company re needs to bring in uh, experts uh, who will be able to assess and make sure that their networks are as secure as possible. It means making sure that you have the appropriate firewalls um, erected so that you can protect your data from being breached. There was a great move towards efficiency in the last 10 years uh, to bring networks together to make sure that people could access all areas of data within a corporation. The problem with that was that it exposed the corporation or the company and its data system because once they had a single point of entry, they were then able to reach all areas of the network. So while networks went underwent a period of consolidation for some period, now part of the strategy to protect data is actually to disaggregate networks. If a, an intruder gets into one network, they may not be able to find their way into another network. The best defense against data intrusion is making sure that the people who work for your company understand what the rules are uh, and the things that they might do, something as simple as bringing work home on a flash drive to be used on a personal computer and then bringing it back uh, into the work computer, can introduce um, opportunities for intrusion. The C-suite and everybody in it, including the CEO and the CFO and also the board of directors, needs to understand the scope of the problem and be actively involved in addressing it and sending the message from the top down that this is a priority of the company.